time for Cigar Talk, the fastest growing cigar show in the nation. Whether you're a new cigar enthusiast or a cigar aficionado, we have something for everyone. Bringing you the best interviews, cigar reviews, and weekly giveaways. So grab yourself a cigar. It's time to light them up. Welcome back to Cigar Talk. I'm your host, Rob Jones. We have the one and only Bryant Falconer as our co-host. How you doing today, Bryant? Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> yeah, so we had to do a few takes getting started because, you know, we do the pre-show for the Patreons. And on the, the pre-show, you know, that's where we kick back, have a few drinks, talk about what we would be talking about yeah. if we were in the lounge. And sometimes... It gets a little funny, <laughs> especially today, bro. <laughs> so you know, for those that are not Patreons, <laughs> yeah, this is a reason to become one to see the free show. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Ooh. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But then also, you know, the thing about it is, we do the pre-show and then we cut and then we go right into the show. Yes, sir. So sometimes the shenanigans carry over. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. That's a, that's a good word for it. <laughs> So word anyway, it. let's get on with the show. Uh, let's talk about what you're smoking. I don't know yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was handed. You were handed a. Preferably not a t- dog rocket, <laughs> but from the looks already, I-, I can tell it's not. You know, he gave me a nice brown uh, veiny wrapper. Uh, How's I, the cold draw? I deep V'd it and the cold draw was, man, perfect. How's, I, how's the caps on that? Because uh, look at the caps. Yes, sir. Can you see? I mean, they go pretty far They're down. Pretty far down. And it took that deep V and no issues at all, man. I cold draw and I retroheld off the cold draw and I, I could taste a little bit of cedar coming out of it. Yeah. So I'm thinking that this is going to be a good stick, prayerfully, that Rob no, no, won't no, do no. me no. like you he know did what? You know what? Time. You took care of me last week and I took good care of you this week. All right, brother. So I'm I'm excited. You know what? I really had never smoked a cigar without the band, not knowing what it was, and enjoyed it like that. And so that was a that was a bonus, man, because it was an experience I'd never had before. If you guys haven't tried that, ask a friend to buy you a good stick and don't put the band on it and experience it without knowing what it is. That blind reaction. It's, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it is. I am enjoying it off the f- man. It, dude, <laughs> you got me wondering, <laughs> and that's the cool yes, thing about not having wondering. the band on because that's how I was last week, and that was a great cigar. In fact, since you bought me that cigar, that was the uh, which one was that? The, the uh, Diaz AJ Gloria. Fernandez Diaz Glorious, mm-hmm. and I had smoked it before. But I hadn't paid attention to the complexity of the blend. And you had to then because you were wary. And so now when I go back to it, Uh I'm catching all those notes. I'm like, wow. So if you haven't tried it, get with a buddy and do that because I think it's a great experiment. It is so far. Hey, so before I tell you what I'm smoking, Uh let's say thank you to our Patreons. The Patreons take care of us. And support us in a way that, you know, it's humbling to us. Yeah, tell the truth. Bro. We, we're so thankful and blessed. Yes. And you guys have helped us along the way. Yes, sir. To, you know, I mean, think about where we were <laughs> 102 episodes ago. <laughs> and now where we are now, Duh. without the Patreon support, it wouldn't we wouldn't happen. be here. Wouldn't so happen. thank you guys. And that's why we do the pre-show. Yes. We're getting ready to come out with another special edition of the poker chips. Mm-hmm. So certain levels of the Patreons get a new one every yes. time. And so, you know, we're also, I've been having a big request. It's time to put out some new t-shirts. Mm. So that's something that I'm going to do over the next week or two. And I will get that up for you guys because, you know, a lot of the guys that have t-shirts are like, Dude, this shirt has holes in it. <laughs> so, they wear it that much. The, right. And, you know, mine, I, w- I put mine on Dude. yesterday. My wife was like, you can't wear that to the leaf. And I was like, why? And I was like, she was like, it's got a hole in it. And I looked down, and it wasn't like a small little hole. Oh, it was a hole. Oh. It was like nipple size. 
Yeah, you can't wear that to so, the because so, we know what you'll be doing. <laughs> so anyway, You're sitting up there in the police. And I am leave. going we to put shirts somebody out online streaking. soon. <laughs> they were streaking. Hey, reel it in, reel it <laughs> no, in. No, you need to reel it in. We know who you are. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're gonna have shirts up soon. You on You know the who website. you couldn't say that to? Who? Larry. <laughs> BDL. You couldn't say real any. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, thank you, Patreons. Thank we you. appreciate you. Thank you. And thank if you. you'd like to become a Patreon, you go to our website, which is CigarTalkPodcast.com. At the very top, it says if you want to support through Patreon, mm. you can click on it. We have a great community that is on Discord. Get to know us, hang out with us, and have fun, man. So anyway, let's jump over to our sponsors because we have amazing sponsors. The best. So let's start with Viva La Vida this week. Woo! You Bruh. know, we got some we got some interesting news. We're going to talk a lo- about a little yes, bit later in the show yes. about Viva La Vida. So you make sure you hang around because there's some great news for mm. them. But anyway, if you haven't smoked the Viva La Vida, and I'll tell you this. Everybody knows Sean O'Connor, yes. great brother of the Leaf. He came down to the Leaf this weekend, hung out with us and smoked cigars. And you know what he left with? Was that? Viva La Vida. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. So, I mean, and for you guys that don't know, Sean is a connoisseur of many things. Of many things fine. And when you yes. see him seeking out the Viva La Vida uh-huh. because he can't get them where he's yes. where he lives. And I was like, when you got a guy who he brings a bar of liqueurs. Like, well, <laughs> liqueurs. Liqueurs. <laughs> no, not liqueurs. But anyway, he brings in these bourbons that are just amazing. amazing yes, sir. And so when you see a guy who has that level of appreciation for the finer things, well, I was going to say man stuff. Yeah. So it's like, and he goes straight in and got, and he got the 500 clubs. Yes. And then he also, uh, oh man, I'm going to kick myself. I can't remember the other Viatola that he got. But anyway, it was the ones that were wrapped. That's not the, oh, man, I'm not going to play the that? guessing game yeah. with you. So anyway, if you guys haven't tried Viva La Vida, put it on your top 10 list that you must try in the next three months. You know, I know that my top 10 gets filled out about every. No, 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 not the 10. But uh, anyway, put I have certain cigars on my list. I hope you have a list so that when you go to cigar shops, you're like, oh, man, if I if I if I find this stick. It was a joyful yeah, day. Yeah. You know, there's lots of sticks where you're like, yeah, I, I like that. I'm going to smoke it. But also to build that list of something that I want to smoke that I haven't had the opportunity to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of mm-hmm. like that holy grail you're oh, yeah. looking for. Especially when you're away. Right. Give you something. It's, it's, it's that journey, as you say. Now, I'm going to say this, too. If you already smoked the Viva La Vida or you've had it. Go to your local shops oh, and, yeah. and ask them to start carrying it because they are a very small boutique cigar company, and we want to help them grow. We want to see them in shops across the nation because the people they are and what they do, it's like you want to help those people succeed mm-hmm. and <clears throat> bless the cigar community with a badass with a stick. Bad stick bro. So anyway, and then let's jump over to our other sponsor, long time, long time. family member, <laughs> McAuliffe Cigars. Yes, sir. So these guys, I mean, wow. Where to start? <laughs> Where to Where start? Where can you start? That's I true. mean, they have a program for ambassadors of the mm-hmm. McAuliffe Cigars. They have a community. They help See, the brick, brick and, and mortars. mortars. That's where I was going, yeah. And we haven't even scratched the surface of the, the cigars. Yeah, yeah. The cigars speak for themselves. You don't even have to know <laughs> all the great things they do for the community and the brick and mortars to know that they make a great cigar. Uh-huh. And. I'm going to tell you right now, man, over the last two weeks, it's been so nice to leaf being open, but I've talked to so many people that have smoked either. In fact, this last weekend, Uh it was funny because I was walking up to the leaf 
and these two guys got out of the car and one of them was dressed like he was getting ready to go work out mm-hmm. and the other one not and i was like where are y'all going <laughs> And he was like, oh, we're going in the leaf. And I was like, oh, I thought you're going to go work out or something the way you're dressed. And I was like, Cause you don't want to go in the leaf if you're wanting to work out. Not at all. So anyway, we we're chumming around talking. And we I go in the humidor after talking to Jay for a little bit. And they were both in there looking at a Don Papine, which is a great cigar. Yes, it is. But it was the blue band, which is like full throttle. Yes. And I said, and he had his phone. He was uh-huh. looking on his phone. And I was like what are you looking at on your phone? And he was like, oh, I'm on the Cigar Aficionado. And I was like, man, put that That's shit out. Yeah. I was like, nobody, dude. I was like, no. Turn I, that off. I said. Come to the real world. I said, how often do you guys smoke cigars? And he was like, probably like four or five a year. And I was oh, like, yeah. put that but, down. Yeah, please. Put that cigar down. And so you know what I took him to? The medallion. Boom. I knew it. Boom. <laughs> that was easy. You don't, but you know what I mean? That has a, that's a stick with lots of flavors. Yeah, because where if, you, even if you're new, you might discover something, you mm-hmm. miss something. And mm-hmm. if you take a pepper bomb, which that Don Pepin is a pepper bomb, you're not going to learn anything. Uh-huh. You're not. And you're so, start off like Rob did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that, and I, I tried to, you know, and then I told him, I said, hey, and I'm not some moron. Yeah. I'm on Cigar Talk, blah, blah, blah. Right. And they were like, oh, cool. So they looked it up. So you two guys at the cigar shop, I'm not trying to make you sound like morons. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> no, man. It was really cool hooking up with those dudes and talking and, you know. That's and, the and they're from man. Abilene. And That's they're the from community. Abilene. That's the community. And so we talk about that a lot, how, you know, you have those new smokers that come in and don't be, you know, a dick. Right. Take the time, help him out. He would got that Don Papine, like you said, it had been a, a oh, and, and a we walked, pepper bomb, we, and we walked through the humidor, and I was giving them tips yeah, on cool, different man. things across cool. the board. That's cool. And it's like, dude, if you see people who, you know, don't have the experience, be uh-huh. helpful. And if you know, if they're like, no, 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 I got this, you know. All right, cool. Let them go. Yeah, you know what? You, if you want to but smoke, you find dog those rockets, that are go re- for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you find those that are really inquisitive, that really want to learn and know. Be that person. Be that person. Well, you know, and I meant to go up to the front of the shop. That's funny that you did. You guess San Latano? Uh-huh. It is not. I'm looking at Larry's ash because he asked for my lighter again. <laughs> if I see any smoke come off of that, <laughs> <laughs> you're like. Hey, that's still list. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have another when one. When you pull the other one hey, out. Hey, on his back patio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, thank you, Bryant. Yep. <laughs> Front, porch Front porch tonight. Are we ready? Okay. So one of the things I didn't get to do and I meant to uh, because Sean came in and we started tasting different bourbons and whatnot uh-huh. But I wanted to go up to the front and ask them about their experience with the cigar. Okay. And by the time I got up there, they were already gone. gone. Okay. Of course, you know, it was like an hour and 50 <laughs> minutes. Everybody smokes a stick in that time, Rob, too. Right. So, you know, my second, after my second stick, I was like, oh, I should go up there. And then they were gone. So, anyway, I wanted to see what their experience was with Medallia mm-hmm. as a new cigar smoker. Preferably, they're listening. And if they're listening, call. Hit Rob up and let him know your experience. Yeah. Because we'd yeah, like to yeah. know. We would really like to know. Well, you know, like for guys who are veteran smokers, mm-hmm. when they smoke it, I get lots of great feedback. Yeah. I'd like to know a what a newbie mm-hmm. thinks. And so, you know, do they get the same experience? Yeah. Are they hitting a few of those notes? Are they hitting a lot of them? And usually it's probably about a few of those notes because their palate doesn't understand anything right now. Right. So it's just like, okay. What is this? What what is this? I, I know this. I know this flavor. I know this flavor. But you you can't you know you can't register it in your mind because right. you're new to it. But after you get you know get you a few years in, get you a few varieties of the sticks, you start recognizing things off the bat. You know you can start like today with this one. I recognize cedar off the cold draw. I was like, wait, but that's cedar. In yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, well. At least it's not that type of dog rocket, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they they took time to put something in there. But I'm I'm you you commented on the ash, man, dude. dude you haven't even ashed it yet, nope. dude. Hey, where'd you get it at? 
I can't tell you. I'm gonna ask because if it was the leaf, then it segues into a third. Oh well, it is the leaf, <laughs> so it segues into my it third. It is the leaf, but I gotta say this: if you guys haven't become a McAuliffe ambassador, go by our website. Yes. Look down in the show notes of the show. There's uh-huh. a link that will take you straight there. Right. And and that's an Apple only. Like on Spotify, the links don't work, oh. which is not cool. <laughs> but in Apple Podcast, if you look at the show notes, there's a link to click to the ambassadors. Uh, there's a link for the Leaf. There's also a link for Viva La Vida. Mm-hmm. So you can actually go down the show notes and fi- find our sponsors. I'm loving this smoke, man. Good, good. <sighs> See, dude, the way you took care of me last week, I was like, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to knock him out. <laughs> I thank you for that. Yeah. I truly do. You all just don't understand how look- great this will make me. <laughs> because we know Rob, man. He will, t- he will take the enjoyment. <laughs> but here's, you know what? You know what? But here's the thing. Talk I wanted me. you to have a cigar that I thought would just light you on fire. And it is. And it is. But I wanted it to be a cigar I didn't think that you had smoked before. And I'm not. So. I'm, I'm just, guessing, like I said, the San Latino use like, uh, nope. nope, 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 good stick, but that's not it. Nope. So anyway, uh, let's talk about the leaf. So why not, dude? The leaf. Let me tell everybody, I've been on vacation this week, mm-hmm. and I spent time at the leaf. <laughs> what, like six out of seven days? Like you were at work, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it was so nice being on vacation. I could just go up to the Leaf and hang out, yeah. smoke some cigars, drink some great coffee, yeah. have some great bourbons, hang out with good friends. Go take a nap. Dude, it was. Come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There was there was days where I did go home, take a nap, and then I went back in the evening. But what Jay and Corey have Ooh, created man. as a paradise away Cigar from experience. home. It's yeah. an experience. And it is. And it, I mean, it is just overjoy mm, mm. because you have a place to go hang out with your friends, you know, and I have a place that I can hang out with friends, but my wife might not want Mary here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So at the leaf, you know, cause last week Larry was here, oh, got his car backed into, yeah. and that made my wife have to do something that she didn't want to do. She could have just been watching TV. She could have been stitching doing anything but coming now to i the gotta studio. go tell larry that his car got yes. hit the first time i meet him i have to let him know your vehicle got hit <laughs> right <laughs> you know and what the funny thing is where we live that was the way we met yes. our neighbors because my wife backed into the neighbor's car <laughs> right well you told me the story i was like wow i was like I'm hey, glad I parked I'm in the grass. Neighbor. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm your neighbor. And by the way, my wife just backed she into just you. She just backed into you. So what? anyway, go by the leaf and check out the lounge and tell them Rob and Bryant sent you. And you're going to get treated very nicely. Very nicely. And, you know, Scott is a great tobacconist. Yes. And he always turns me on. Now, you know what? He tried to turn me on to the triple Maduro Camacho. I told him, I said, not having it, <laughs> not having it. I had one when they first came out again. It was plugged. It split. Uh, and you know how I am about yeah. construction value. If you can't build a cigar, you shouldn't be selling them. Now, wow. don't get me wrong. I know that's that strong. I know there are. He, he went Tyson <laughs> on that one, didn't he? If you can't build one, don't make one. <laughs> Come here, come here. <laughs> What's this stick you gave me? <laughs> Dude, you oh, went Tyson on that one. I, I did. Because you know how I feel about construction. Yes. And, you know, and I do tell people this. You know what? It's a handmade product, mm. and you're going to get a bad one every now and then. But, but not every, every, But there every. for a long time. Camacho was having issues. Like uh now I'll tell you this. When Scott tried to get me to get one, he was smoking one. Mm-hmm. Had a great like almost two inch ash. Okay. And I was like, that's not how mine was. 
<laughs> so I'm not see something with yours <laughs> was your special because <laughs> that's not what i had well nah. he said he hadn't had any issues and i did smoke a camacho connecticut a couple yeah. of weeks ago that was great yes sir yes, but sir. that triple maduro so kicked, not me, gonna... kicked me in the crotch and i was like oh i'm not i'm not doing it <laughs> nope. so anyway maybe i'll try them again later but you know what no matter what our local cigar shop the leaf will take care of almost definitely and the thing about it is the leaf carries the viva la vida Mm -hmm. and the mcallif Mm -hmm. line so if you hear us talking about those and they're not available in your area go to the website or go look in the show notes click on the leaf and you can call jay and everyone i've talked to that jay ships to is like he was very nice he was very fast, and I got my cigars in perfect condition. Man, this guy, I'm tasting cocoa now. It's a good stick, dude. Yeah. It's a good stick. Look at that flame up under that. Look fan. at that ash. Yes, sir. You're you're getting into the inch and a half range. Mm. Mm. Good mm. stick. So anyway, uh, let's talk about one of uh, your subjects. Did you want to start out with the pick six? Yeah, I took a. I drink a bourbon. He started me talking. <laughs> Your <laughs> that, turn. Yes, it is my turn. It went down quick. <laughs> yeah, the pick six. I'm going to let you go first. As usual. I got to get another drink. <laughs> my number one this week was the Roma Craft Whiskey Rebellion. I I didn't know you were all over that stick. <sighs> Man, I still have some. See, those escaped the uh, great purge when I was running out during the middle of the uh, 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 pan- pandemic, uh, they actually were at the bottom, bottom, bottom. <laughs> so they didn't get seen for a while. And I actually looked in there. I was like, oh, man, I got 40. So I wow. grabbed two. I grabbed two and uh, I smoked. I still got one in my uh, travel humidor. Oh, awesome. And I smoked one. Uh, what was that? Friday. Yeah, Friday. And I was like, oh, man, now I remember why I love these things, man. And it was just like, to say, it just took me back to the sitting in the leaf over there off off Third Street, <laughs> you know, smoking a whiskey rebellion, drinking me some of that good uh, coffee up in there. I was like, yeah, man, it's still the same. It's still the same. I was like, yeah, it's making that pick this week, baby. It's making that pick. Nice. My number two, I got another Aladino Corojo. Oh, nice. <sighs> As you say, when a stick gives you a certain mindset, you look for that every time or better. And Aladino hasn't, it hasn't failed me yet. It hasn't failed me. And my number three was the San Lador, uh, San Latano Oval Maduro. Oh, you had the oval. Yes. Nice. I know where you got that, Jay. Yes. Those are very difficult to find. And the thing about it is, for newbie, you won't understand every aspect of that stick because it's not just uh, bold. It it has intricate notes in it. You taste the wood. You taste a little bit of nut. But when it hits that pepper and you come back to that, that Maduro part of it, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is why I love this thing, man. So those are my three, uh, the Roma Craft Whiskey Rebellion, Aladino Corojo, and the San Latino Oval Maduro. I'm a fan of that oval. Yes, sir. It's something about that Viatola and that blend or just my holy grail mentality, you know, <laughs> looking at it that way. But I tell you what, man, I've had a lot of interesting sticks this week. It's because I was on vacation. So nailing down three, three has been tough. All right. But I did know. So I really want to know these three then because you spent some time at the Leaf this week. I did. And I was all over the place. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, Mm -hmm. one of the cigars that was up in count was the San Latano Cameroon. Okay. Torpedo. Box press. Yes. Good stick. That's a good stick. Good stick. And then number two on my list was the... uh, experientia mm. yeah had a couple of those this week and i was like man i, <laughs> I forgot about how much i enjoy this mm. stick mm. and then uh i'm gonna say the other one which was probably one of the best sticks i've had in the last probably four weeks five weeks okay 
is it was a gift from Sean, mm-hmm. and it was the Kristoff Signature oh, Series. You told me about those he gave you, dude. Yeah. Dude, that man, and and you know the funny thing is, Sean was like, I always heard you know how you don't save sticks yeah. and whatever, and he's like, we're at the cigar shop. <laughs> I just gifted Rob like you know ten, twelve sticks, and. He's already on the second like, one. <laughs> you don't play, man. Like, you don't. I was like, you don't, bro. Hey, man. I, and, you know, when I see cigars that I can't get. Yeah. You dude, jump on them. It's you like, you know, me and you are the opposite. Yeah, I'm going to hold you, it. You, you hold on to yeah. it. But I've never had to smoke the great cigars that you did. Yeah. Because I got of, down to the yeah. end and was like, I don't But you know what I still it. have in there? What? That Aladino patent. Do you really? Wow. That, that patent is still sitting that there. That nine inch. Wow. Oh, it's still sitting. I saw it yesterday and I was like, nope, not messing with it. <laughs> hey, so Luke, did you get those written down? The name of the cigars? I got them. Well, I need, we're going to start listing all those in the show notes okay. so that people can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? No, I don't write you know mine he down. You don't write nothing down. I don't want to write them down. <laughs> The producer can produce, <laughs> and I will perform. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's over there with them strings. <laughs> Luke's like, okay, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> so anyway, hit up Jay at the Leaf. Look at that, dude. Man. Look at that. I, look at that look ash, at that, man. man. That is a that. good looking stick. Look at that. How happy are you right I'm now? I'm smiling, <laughs> bro. I'm smiling. I yes, took care sir. of you, man. Yes, you did, sir. Woo. So, Way better than that turd rocket you gave me uh, that night. You know what? That was a that was a passing of the torch. That was it, well, that's a torch I'll never pass again because hey. I don't want to. I don't even want to be a part of that scheme anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be the smoker nor the passer. You, no, you, you're like Mm-mm. Hey. no, bro. That was torture that night. It didn't make it what a good twenty yards. <laughs> Right. And I threw it out the truck. Nah, bro. Good. You're like, I'm not smoking no, this. No, not happening. Not happening. But this, man, I, I true. I'm almost, yeah, about a, almost the two inches on that ash. Let me put it over there. So, almost the two inches on that ash. And it's, it's smoking well, man. Even, you know, the, uh, the draw is still good. I'm still tasting different notes that I'm Dude, trying I to figure you, out. I can tell by looking at that ash, the construction is second to none. Yeah, I mean, look truth. at that ash. Dude. Tell the truth. You can see the craftsmanship in each dime that is stacked on the end of that cigar. Now, I'm thinking you're going to need to ash it yeah, soon. But look at that smoke coming off of it. You're getting to the two-inch <clears throat> line. I think you need to ash it because you're going to burn a hole in your shirt. I can't burn a hole in this shirt. This is I the know. shirt we got to keep going. <laughs> Everybody talks about our new shirt. We went there uh, Saturday. Paul, that was, Larry has it. <laughs> it, was, it was the first time Paul has seen the shirts. He's like, oh, man, I like that. He said, that, that's a nice shirt. I said, yeah, only me and Rob got them right now. <laughs> There's one other because oh, I, had to, ask, cause I has, had to ask Luke again what his size was so I can make sure I can get his made. What is that you smoking now? Uh, McAuliffe. Oh, I know what it is. It's I a saw, Medallia six by forty six. When when that label came around, I said, "Oh, I know what that is." <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh-huh. I haven't smoked a Medallia a on the show for a bit. Wait a minute. Remember what? Uh, 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 oh God, I'm caught up in this stick, man. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. You remember what Sean said about the uh, the Viatola though? Uh-uh. Remember you was like, <laughs> oh yeah. Now you know, I I I think that me and Sean are very like minded people, mm-hmm. and then he blew it. Saturday night he blew it. For he you. blew it. I was but like, I-, I had so much respect for him, <laughs> and he lowered the bar wow. in a matter of seconds. Why? Because he didn't like the six by forty six. He says that the Toro yeah. is the better medallion. Yeah. You get a little bit more flavor, man. No, to me. no, sir, no, sir. Well, you get, you went on your trip for thirty days. I, I did it for thirty days, <laughs> and I can tell you, this is the proper. He was like that jackass out there. So <laughs> I'm not changing. Nope, <laughs> no Wilbur. I'm not changing. <laughs> I smoked them for a month, I and I came bro. right back. That's that's the truth. In everybody's palate is not the same. 
no matter what you say about it, somebody else is like, no, nah, you know, I really like this, this via total. I'm like, okay, but this is the greatest. No, it's not. Everybody's different. So what you're saying is some people are wrong. No, I just said everybody's <laughs> different. <laughs> wrong did Everybody not come out of my mouth. Everybody cannot be right. <laughs> yes, they can on certain things. No. Mm-hmm. On certain things, sure. Yeah. But not on whatever I'm talking about. Oh, what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he's sneaking it in again. <laughs> so the six by 46 yeah, people. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. I'm going to leave it alone. What are we, what are we, what are we moving on to? Viva oh, oh, the Viva La Vida, Vida has a great announcement. Yes, sir. Because, and that the way we started talking about them earlier before the show was you showed up smoking the Viva La Vida 500. Yeah, and that goes into the next segment, which is, what is your favorite new stick? And well, like I okay, told but you, before we get into that, Viva La Vida is now going internationally. Well, let me remove <laughs> that from the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're like that's not what you said to nope, do. Nope. <laughs> I got to whipped it around on you. Uh-huh, real quick because we were supposed to talk about the favorite new sticks. Okay, and okay, okay. Because I, I came forgot. Up, Go I ahead. Came up with two new sticks that I've tried in the last month and a half that are just like my my go-to's. They add to that um the Sumatra stage with me. And one of them was the uh Dias Gloria. And you were like, yeah, you chimed in with that because it's a great stick, man. It, it hits really you. Is. It hits you. It hits you with all the notes. It's a pallet ride. It's a journey, but it's a great stick. Now, now, go how, ahead. How about the uh, New World Corojo? I haven't tried. No, that no, one. no. Is it Corojo or no Cameroon? Cameroon. I haven't tried it. Oh my goodness! If you're liking and the, the thing Diaz is, Gloria, I was. In the center aisle, when I was looking for my sticks today, when I went in, and it was right there in front of me, and I was like, nah, I'm going to give me some Diaz Glorious. Where's my my number two on my list? Because I only have two new sticks. I, the Viva La Vida Club 500. Right. And it is just like. Because you're hitting it. Man, that is, to me, Sumatra Club 500, it's a hard choice for me now. Because I got to make a decision on which one am I going to smoke right now. And the other one's going to still be sitting there looking at me like, you forgot about me? <laughs> you don't like me anymore? But this Club 500, man, Viva La Vida knocked it out the park. And that was to segue into them going international now, which is AJ, great. Now, so everybody knows that AJ blends uh-huh. the uh, Viva La Vida. Yes, sir. And so they now put them as part of their distribution yes and now they are taking them internationally around the world Dude, baby. how awesome is that i got fret brothers in the military that are in spain in germany in italy and i was like man when you just told me that I was, i'm getting ready to send out a text bro nice. when it hits you got to jump on this man. oh yeah you got to jump on i got a lot of brothers that that we smoke whenever we get together and this is an opportunity, man, overseas to get this. Come on, bruh. Come on. Make us happy. Keep the military happy, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> Give us great sticks everywhere we go. <laughs> and you know what everywhere. I say to that? What's that? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. I'm 100% with that. Thank you, AJ. Thank so you. So that's your two new sticks yes, those that are my you're, two you're hitting. Yes, sir. So, you know, I can't ever say, okay, the medallion's not new. Mm-mm. But I hit it a lot. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. And it was like those two guys I was talking yeah. to. I was like, man, I'm not just telling you this because I'm trying to get you to smoke something. <laughs> the hair club for I, me. <laughs> I smoke this on a regular yeah. basis. Yes. And I wanted to give them something, you know, that was medium to full. Mm-hmm. Because the dude told me that he dipped. So, so he yeah, was he's, not. He used to something a little strong, right? Yeah. He gets the nicotine. Mm-hmm. So being able to say, you know, here's yeah. the medium, the medium full with a lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I can't get away from this. this yeah, because you're smoking one now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, just I am. lit it up. Yes, I am. And I was two inches in on mine. He just lit that, and he's already getting ready to surpass me. <laughs> he loves that medallion, man. So what was what would be your other? Give me one okay. more. Okay. No, no, no. I, I have more than one. Okay. So, man, I had so many good sticks this week. I'm going to tell you 
the uh, AJ New World Cameroon. I've been hitting that stick pretty regularly yeah, this track. week. I'm going to try Yeah, you really need to try that one. I think that's going to be a like one that you're like, wow. Okay. And so, in fact, uh, did you have one of those, Larry? The uh, AJ Cameroon? No. Okay. Larry doesn't know about good cigars. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was one that I was really hitting a lot this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tell you what, the other one was the uh, Experiencia. Yeah, hit that one a couple times. That's that a good one, stick, man. Ooh. That's a good stick. And I want to say that was the day that we tried that Tucker and Bibbs bourbon, mm. dude. Fantastic cigar with a good bourbon, and I'd never had that bourbon before. So they paired well. It it was home run, mm. home run, and then. Probably my other stick that I've been hitting a little bit regular this week was the uh, Padron 1964 85th anniversary. That's the one you gave Ed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Had to get one for myself. I got you, bro. Maybe that's not a new cigar, but I don't smoke it very often. Gotcha. So every time I smoke it, it seems new. Gotcha. <laughs> you gotcha. know what I mean? I don't fork out $22 on a stick very often. On a regular, but when right. I do, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> and it's new again. Gotcha. So those are the those are the ones that I really enjoyed this week. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's a good choice, too. Those are some good choices, too. So we were at a barbecue oh yeah with uh sean came in so it brought up the idea how do you like your steaks now here in texas you know they 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 do a steak everywhere grilling broiling baking and frying which blew my mind but (laughs) i seen somebody fry steak just not long ago in butter and oh yeah i was watching that on uh what was it tiktok i saw a guy doing that he fried it in butter i was like this isn't he was from texas so i was like right. okay yeah there you go <laughs> fry and butter yep <laughs> so anyway Steak, so what's, what's your question what is your best way for preparation of best prepared steak you mean the way i like yes. it not mm-hmm. the way i cook it yeah because i'm gonna go ahead oh we heard the way you cook it that fall night. no i'm gonna fall on my barbecue technique sword of all of Texas, because I'm not a good, <laughs> I'm not a good griller. Okay. I'm not a good smoker. You okay. know what? I'm a good drinker and I'm a good <laughs> smoker. <laughs> but I I'm, got you. I hey, that was a song. Wasn't it? I I've made uh-huh. steaks uh-huh. before, uh-huh. and like watching Sean do it, oh. I was like, yeah, I don't know how to. First do of that. all, the preparation he did. Oh, he prepared them. He let them sit out and breathe for a while before he put them on the grill. Then he put them on the grill, and he had a thermometer testing each one every each one? every so often. Yeah, because I mean, he, he, he had a ti- up he had, and down. no. Oh, he he had opened up timer. his phone. He had a timer, and when it hit a time, he got up and went over there to the grill, opened it up. He put the uh, thermometer in, and then he checked the temperature on each one of them. And I was like, I'm sitting there looking. I'm like, nah, I can grill, but I'm not doing all. <laughs> No, like, no, 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 and that's what I say about falling on my sword uh-huh. because my grilling technique oh, we heard. is throwing some season on something throw it on the grill throw it on the fire it's on the toe. fire <laughs> and when it's burnt on the outside it's ready it's ready <laughs> and so you know what it's not it's definitely not something that you like you're like oh man i can't wait to come over to rob's to eat no <laughs> no no he said but, not for you after you eat whatever I made, uh-huh. we're gonna smoke cigars. We're gonna smoke get cigars, get so, some good bourbon. So, so yeah, yeah. You're the get, back end is the best uh, the part. Back end's the good. back nine is the best part. The, the steak part <laughs> is just you, know. you, you putting some on that to soak up that alcohol. I got you. I got you. Me is grilling, man. I love to grill, and I don't have the preparation that Sean had, but I do. I let my my meat marinate mar, um, marinate for a day. To allow it to soak in everything that I want. And it depends on which one. Because like you were talking about teriyaki about some. I love soaking my meat in teriyaki, man. With a few se- with a few seasonings in there. See, I went, I went through a stage where I did, was doing soy. Soy? Okay. And That's a lot of salt, too. It, it, you know what? It was too salty for me after several steaks down the You okay. know what I mean? I was like, it was really good the first few times. Uh-huh. But it got really salty. Okay. 
Yeah, and we would use the Montreal mm. and the soy. And anyway, I learned how to make this with some guy from Louisiana, and he can cook, mm -hmm. but I burned out on the soy. <laughs> it was too salty. It's too salty. Yeah, I, I'll let it marinate for a day. And then I get my for a day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In the teriyaki. In the teriyaki, man. So it's. I mean, it's you know every what? bite. Every bite you're gonna taste that seasoning. You know what? We need to cook steaks here, oh, yes. and I'll let you cook them. Okay. Yeah. I'm no I, I'm with down it. with that. I'm not coming with a thermometer though. I'm letting you know now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm letting you know now. Now I time it, but it's a, it's a certain time not especially because like with my grill, I have a thermometer on there to let me know the heat where it's at. And I may try to maintain that heat through the entire time. So I know that it cooks evenly to me because my wife well, is crazy. You, she doesn't, if, if you want to bring it, you can, but cause when you grill over here, you've got a square thing, a lid pops up. We put charcoal in it <laughs> and that's what we cook on. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? I had <laughs> the ginormous cookers <laughs> And it was a disaster. <laughs> Did I just walk into the cave, man? <laughs> I walked in we, with alley oop. <laughs> <laughs> alley oop. Boop. Boop, boop. Dude. So, dude, let me tell you, I've had the ginormous cookers. Uh -huh. I almost burnt the house down. <laughs> and, you now know, that's what? a fire. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Roll him around a little bit. <laughs> so, Man. yeah, dude, my I've had food on the grill, and I had the grill under the patio, and the patio. Dude, you did. <laughs> oh, come dude, on. I opened up the thing and had to jump back yeah. because the flames were like hitting the patio <laughs> nah bro nah yeah somebody else got cook. <laughs> you are the grill master from now on luke <laughs> i can i can do you know a fire pit i bet you your hot dogs are black black <laughs> yes <laughs> that's the way i like them crunchy crunchy <laughs> dude if you're gonna have a hot dog <laughs> oh my god man yeah, you need somebody else to cook. <laughs> Everybody that's listening, send him some recipes. <laughs> but I won't do all that. Yeah, I will. Because I'm Cause like, I like, I like. You know what? You gotta have a passion for that. Yeah. To do, be good at it. I learned it. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. I learned it because my my dad, that's all. He loved grilling, man. He went and got a 50 gallon drum and had it made into a grill. And when we barbecued, dude. We ate barbecue for like a week and a half because <laughs> he'd make he, I mean ribs, as you find out the pork steaks, everything, man. We just have, dude, just it was food. like hog heaven, hog heaven in there, man. So yeah, let's let's do a cookout here in the near future. No problem, dude. This is the perfect weather too. Oh, heck yeah. Cigars, bourbon, and cooking out, dude. Saturday was perfect. Dude. It was still in the 70s. Oh, you know what? I was going to say this weekend, but I'm going out of town. What is this weekend? Uh, oh, yeah. I got to go down to Colleen, too. Oh, I, I got to go pick up some stuff. Okay. So, anyway, we'll do that soon. Yeah. No problem. All right. So, what's the next topic? What is your, I don't want to say favorite, but a great cigar movie for you? Well, I'll let you go first. Mine's The Godfather. The original. Yes. I, I love that movie. It doesn't matter which one in the trilogy. A cigar, sitting sitting out watching, especially, what was that, two with Vito, the story of Vito, uh, the father. Yeah. Coming from, you know, the true humble beginnings. Right. And take it, take it, taking one for the team and they not even knowing, taking that gun, running across the roof, tearing pieces of it off, the one, <laughs> dropping it down. I'm like, man, De Niro sold that to me, man. Even though Brando as the older uh, Don Matriarch is phenomenal, phenomenal. There's nobody. He played that role to the yeah, team. Yeah, that, that's it. He was, he was the man, even as the old granddad in, in the vineyard with the little kids, man. That's, that's what people want, man, when they grow old, you know, just to sit back. Good stick, <laughs> something good to drink, and your, your grandkids running around. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I love that movie, man. Larry's getting ready to say something. Oh, we had his attention. <laughs> you said good cigars, good bourbon. Yeah, he's like, huh? <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. So, yeah, you know, I'm with you. I do love The Godfather. 
and I, I'm I'm a gangster movie. I love good, you know, mafia. Uh-huh. I even love The Sopranos. Did you okay. watch The Sopranos? <laughs> now, that's a cigar series. That's a cigar series. <laughs> series, And man. because you said movie, I'm not going with The Sopranos, but The Sopranos were, yeah, man, Cigar yeah, City. Yeah. Everywhere. Everybody had one. Yeah. It didn't matter, and they had good ones, and too, And Soprano bro. always he, had I, one. Every time you saw him, he had one. And if he if it wasn't in his mouth, it was in his fingers. Right. <laughs> yeah. No matter what, man. Taking the bat whooping dude, he had one still in his hand, <laughs> man. I was like, look at this. <laughs> yeah. You, you're not going to put a good cigar down. Oh, no. It so, might disappear. But, but you said movie. Okay. So I'm going to go with The Irishman. Okay. And, you know, okay. I just recently rewatched that. And, you know, what's funny is the people who have not watched it have told me, man, I can't watch this. It. It's three hours. Man. And it's like, but you watched eight episodes of the Ozark <laughs> in a row. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to me, the three hour movie is needed because it covers so much ground. Yep. And it's like the ending this this is the mafia movie age that was the farewell yeah yeah it's over yeah. it's done got you now there may be some other people that try to do it but with scorsese oh you he hits a home run every time it's man. like you're not gonna do this anymore no, it's no, over no, no, and no. so to have those guys that we grew up with as the gangsters saying basically their farewell to me, is an iconic movie. And then all the cigar smoking. Oh, yes. Joe Pesci, man. I was just getting ready to say, people can say what they want about Pesci. I loved him and my cousin Vinny. I mm, did. Mm -hmm. But whenever he's in a mafia movie and he's playing the tough guy, yeah, he sells it because he can sell crazy like nobody, man. The only other person that's up there with him on that is Jack Nicholson. Mm. That's the original crazy. Right. He even took the, the Joker to crazy. <laughs> the, but, he made the Joker dark, man. Yeah. But in The Shining, uh, ooh, that was his crazy. Red rum. Yes. <laughs> but no, I think Joe Pesci was amazing yes. in The Irishman. I think that Robert De Niro <sighs> and then you got Al Pacino, Pacino. All three in the same movie. Pacino's the man. He, he to me... I didn't know about Al Pacino. I was young. But when I saw him in The Godfather, I was like, who is this dude, man? You know what movie I saw him in first? What was that? Dog Day Afternoon. I didn't see. That was not the first one I saw him in. But you see. Yeah, him. I saw it. But the guy. No, the first movie I saw him in was Serpico. Okay, I didn't see that. Serpico. One. That was the first. Because he, he played that dude. He was just the rogue cop. And then when I saw him in uh, God, The Godfather, I was like, he went from one genre to the next, from one mindset to the next. He still was psycho. In, and pulled it off yeah, 100%. He still was psycho, but he played that, that cool guy all the way through. But you saw the things that he would do. Now, did you ever see The Sin of a Woman? Yes. Yes. And then you take him all the way to that <laughs> role. And then to the role with... Uh, Adam Sandler, where he was, uh, oh, he was, uh, mm, he was playing himself in that, and Sandler was playing himself in his sister. You're thinking of Bob Barker. No, <laughs> no, no. He was playing himself in his sister, <laughs> and Pacino fell in love with Sandler's sister. <laughs> I got to remember the name of that movie, man. That dude was crazy in that one, too. But it's just certain actors can, you know, I'll watch him. Oh, oh yeah. watch them no yeah. matter what they when, when you see them. And don't get me wrong, there's been some movies that you were like, ugh. Yeah, but I still like. Like what the Nero, the Nero did something, Grandpa, Dirty Grandpa or something like that. Mm. Yeah. That didn't, that didn't work. What was it? Dirty, Dirty Grandpa. Grandpa. That didn't work for me. Mm. But it was, it was, cause I think Robert De Niro is like such a great, drama oh yeah he serious is. actor he's 100 percent serious and when you put him in the context of a comedy it just doesn't fit for me got you so got anyway you. but no that's my movie for cigars is the irishman and when you were talk, we got on to actors it was like pacino gabriel Byrne, and denzel for me 
Oh yeah, because when oh, Denzel dude, training, training day. I was just going to say training dude. day. And then what was Ethan Hawke? He yes. killed it too, dude. Because when he was in that room <laughs> with, with the, those three Mexicans, with the guys, Mexicans, man, dude, I thought they was going. I just knew. I was like, dude, in a situation like this, you dying. You're but it's done. Just, You're but done. It's what he did earlier that day, right? That saved his ass, right? But and and, but and, and Denzel didn't want to stop though. But the intensity. <laughs> oh heck yeah. We still gonna kill him? Nah, dude. Yeah, but but so you when he for, said no, nah, he you can dropped see. him off. Oh, and it was like I'll be I'm back. back. Yeah, nay, I ain't coming back. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> you think you're tough? And then Denzel at the end when he when he barrio. showed up at the, at the at the projects, Denzel was like, "Yeah, Jake, you made it. <laughs> you made it. You gonna be a good and dude." Ethan Hawke is in there looking at him like, "Nah, my." <laughs> Nah, bro. No, I had a very Mm-mm. good. I had a very good friend that said they ruined the movie Training Day by the ending because oh, with him in the car, they should have made it to where after Denzel died, uh-huh. the next scene is Ethan Hawke in a black leather sport coat, living it like, out like him. <laughs> yeah, taking over. But see, it was based off a true guy, though. Oh, was it really? Yeah. No way. Yes, there was a there was a cop in the Rampart Division in LAPD. He was in. He he ran it. And if you look at the plates on the Monte Carlo, it's a hum, it's a homage to him. It has his initials and the date that the dude the last two. Uh, uh, num- numerals of the date the dude was born, and then I know me when they told me that I had to go research, and I was like, "Oh, this is wild, man!" But they also, I don't know if you ever seen the series The Shield. Yeah, oh, dude, that they was based a- that off of him too. The I did same not know guy. That, that yes. was a great show. Gosh, I love The Shield. That boy. was probably one of my all-time favorite cop shows. I tell everybody, I was a cop during the time that The Shield first came out. Tuesday evenings. You couldn't catch a cop on the street. Really? We was in the station watching TV, watching it, watching the shit, because that was the closest you got to real police work. Right. The, those dudes that did the dirty stuff, that's what they were doing. Right. That's what they were doing, man. And it was just su- such an intricate web of how it all came out. And then in the end, he went fed on them, man. Right. He went fed on them. And the only one that was alive, he turned his boy who was with him from the beginning. Over. Yes. Done. <laughs> I was like, wow, wow. You never saw that. No. Time. No. You Nobody thought, never saw. You, not, th- you thought he was going to take care not, of not the him. guy yeah. that had been there. From the beginning, everybody else hey, is dead. And Shane the, and killed and, himself and, you know and his the, family. The funny thing about that <laughs> Liam is. Liam gone. <laughs> no difference in that and the mafia. And the mafia. True. True. You can be sold out True. at any time. True. Boom. True. Because so. Sammy went up there in front of everybody and, st- and dry snitched. <laughs> right. He gave it all up. And to the point that he's like, I don't care how old you are, we going to kill you. <laughs> right. So that, yeah, we were not even going to get into no, all that. Yeah. But anyway, so before we go, I want to ask you about that cigar you're smoking. I'm still loving it. I don't, I don't have an idea now. I don't. I don't know if you've had one. My mind has been all over the place with the, with the taste. The profile is... It's a medium, but I, in the beginning, I got a little bit of pepper. My retro hail since then, I'm, I'm not picking that up anymore. Uh, the cedar has lasted all the way through, if that's cedar. Uh, it got creamy in the second, third, and I was like, what is this? Well, how's the experience not knowing? Now, it is driving me, man, because I'm sitting there picking up stuff, and I'm trying to figure out what is this? But I, it, but it does make you more appreciative, oh yes. doesn't it? Oh, yes. Because we, if you don't know, you're going all out. And that's what I'm sitting there doing, trying to figure out. Well, let me tell you what it is. What is it? It is the McAuliffe Herencia Habano. Nope, I haven't. What do you think about it? <laughs> McAuliffe. <again>. Right? <laughs> that's all I can say. I didn't think that you McAuliffe. had had one of those, I and I was like, he needs to smoke this and not know what it is. And you've enjoyed it all the way. This is a great stick. I man. know, right? Add it into the list. <laughs> Add it to the list. Because I'll tell you what, the list. I was going to put that on my list of the go-to news. Uh-huh. 
but I didn't want to because I was afraid if you had smoked it, I you hadn't. might recognize nope, my I description. Haven't. So I was like, I'm not going to say that this one. This is my first time, and I have been blessed. Thank you, brother. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. And you know what? We're going to start doing that more regular. Yeah. Because, I mean. It's a whole new experience. It is. It is, man. I love it. Experience it. So, Add it to the list. Anyway, guys, uh, hope you've enjoyed the show. Hope you have a great week. Stay smoky. Until next time. Keep smoking.